Hello everyone, Epiclips here, and today we are going to do another car face-off. So in this car face-off, we're going to be doing the Dominus versus the Batmobile. So this isn't the best map to really do it on, but we're playing on Neo Tokyo, which, I mean, fun and all, but really hate this map, like it with a passion. So, uh, as everyone should know, the... Batmobile. I said Batmobile before, right? Okay, well, the Batmobile is a DLC car, while the Domin Oh, the Dominus is a DLC car as well, unless you're on Xbox. I'm pretty sure it's not then. Um, so, alright, let's see. I mean, the Batmobile is used by a lot of people. It is bigger. Not per se bigger. It's, um, it's a lot, like, longer and wider, but it's not as tall. It's very short car in a way. Meanwhile, the Dominus is like a solid kind of rectangle, and it's pretty, it's not too high, but it's like a normal height of a car, I feel. Uh, let's see, what else about it? Um, Price-wise, I mean, I know the Batmobile's 199 I believe, and then to get the Dominus, I think it's a little bit more, because you get the Tazumi with it, I, th as, I believe, as well, which is also another good car. Um, so what else I want to say really quickly? Okay, yeah. Well, I, I messed up. Um, so we're going to play these two games, and I'll say what car is better in my opinion. That was terrible. Um, but we have been working on, well, me and Tim, who is the person that's behind the, like, map modding community, have been working on basically a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make your own custom maps from download to uh, pretty much what we know so far. So I hope that one really helps everyone out. It should. It's pretty like good explanatory video in each one. It's going to be a couple episodes long. Oh, Jesus. I was off the ball cam. Uh, this game's going swimming. Um, so... It's going to be like from start to finish, and basically if you watch them all, you should be able to pretty much make your own map, 100%, and you know, have boost, goal, and everything. I mean, if you want to do custom things, you might have to figure some things out yourselves, but I'm going over how to make like a basic map pretty much. But from knowing all that information, you should be able to make whatever map you really want because everything else is pretty self-explanatory if you wanna make some sort of weird map off of the things that I'm telling you should be able to do it unless something's really weird about it I hate this map with a passion it's really terrible well there's a goal completely missed me. I don't know why he went for a demo. Yeah, my team's a season 2 grand champ. So, right now I am Superstar Division 3. Not Superstar, Jesus. Shooting Star Division 3. Um, I've been slowly going up, playing. This map is really not helping. I think it is pretty much every map, every game that I really lose a lot on is basically this map. It's killing me. I hate it. I've said that like three times now, but I really do hate this map. I want to hear if you like this map, and I want to hear why you like it. If you want to say that in the description, the description, well, the comments, um, that would really interest me to see why you guys like this map. I mean, I can see why you like it. I mean, there's some really cool dynamics to like team plays and stuff that you can do, but besides from that, it's terrible, and that was terrible. That was not even the map. That was just me sucking. So, hey, just give me a second. I'm recording something. Yep, okay. I don't know why they joined, but okay. Uh, what else? I don't know why that happened. I completely don't know. Look at this. I, I want to show you this. I think it's a glitch that Rocket League's having. You see how my car is still turning there? I clicked twice. 
because I double jump. But for some reason, it doesn't flip sideways. It only just double jumps. I want to know if you've had that problem before. Oh, jeez, that was terrible. Because that's something that I've been like experiencing recently, where I, I've I've clicked twice and holding literally like the left the left button, which is A, and it just not doing anything. It's just double jumping instead of going directional. I don't know why it does that, but I think it's something, maybe some... It may be just a problem with my computer, to be honest. It may just be a problem with my keyboard, but I feel like I've heard other people having that problems. That problem. I don't know if it's a Rocket League thing, but... So a couple of things, yeah, a couple of things I want to hear from you guys this episode. Uh, basically, why you like Neo Tokyo because this map's terrible, and wow, I mean I'm just playing terribly too on top of this map. It's really just not going well. Okay, well we lost the first game. Did you hear him? He just went oh, like really loud. All right, so I'll be right back with you guys when I'm in the next game with the Batmobile. Oh, I dipped down. Alright guys, we're back in the game, and I'm pretty sure the guy that was on my team is on the other team now, which is great, and we're playing on a actually reg regular map, which is nice. So, back to what I was saying really about, oh wow, he got so lucky, that was crazy. Um, back to what I was saying about the other, not the other map, is that what I said? Uh, the other things I was saying before is basically this whole series about you know how to make your own map shall be coming out very shortly as well as um, how to have your own custom servers and stuff so you can be playing on land server well not land but um on servers with your friends on custom maps so that's another thing that's coming out very very shortly which I know has been very like wanted but we've, it took us some time to figure it out, but we've got it now, and, well, it's going to be released very soon. Before we just had it, we were testing some things, and it's really hard to do the old way that we had it, so we figured, well, not we, but Tim made an app that you can kind of, like a special application that's made just by him, that basically does what the complicated thing did before much easier. easier. So that's a very big plus that it's a lot more user friendly now and a lot more easier to use. So I'm using the Batmobile here and I haven't used the Batmobile in a very long time, not since it really came out. And I've been seeing a lot of people use it. That's what made me want to make this video. And to be honest, I kind of like it. You know, it's big. It doesn't twist. I feel like it doesn't twist as fast as other cars. That's just because it's bigger really, but it gives me that feeling like the Dominus kind of air rolls quicker which is okay but it's a lot longer which is nice and I think from that also the flip seems a lot longer so those are some things to get used to let's see what's going on here I'm starting to not play on like rank twos without a teammate because honestly sometimes it just goes pretty damn awful this guy is not bad at all we're playing pretty well but like it's so much better just being able to talk to someone and have like them there so I'm pretty sure for a lot of the rest of these videos I will be doing it with a teammate so that would be pretty interesting then there'll be another person here I don't know who it will be maybe my friend Longshot we've been playing together a lot or Lone is I believe is the other guy's name I don't exactly know how to pronounce it um, and then or it could be like Tim or Floppy the usual people or Zach anyone really oh jeez I wasn't ready for that Uh, I thought he was closer. Come on, teammate. Let's, like... Ah. Uh, that's my bad. That was bad. Yeah, that's the... See the, what I just did there to overshoot it? That's what I'm really not used to, is because when I flip, it's it just goes for a longer distance. And it really, you know, sometimes kills me on some of those hits like that. Alright. 
Sorry about the little dings in the background. That's the Discord I'm in, and plus the voice that was in the little bit of the last game. Uh, I should have been ready for that. Alright. Save that really quickly. Let's take it back. Oh, I flipped the wrong way. You gotta be kidding me. Also, another thing that I've realized it's easier to do in this card than, like, the Dominus, at least for me, is to do, like, aerial dribbles, and it can get some pretty nice angles on things. A little bit different angles that you don't, per se, get in other cars because of the length and stuff like that. And I do like it is kind of like a big rectangle, just like the Dominus, so it's very similar, so it'd be easy to adjust if you do like the car and you already use the Dominus or the uh, Breakout. But, in my opinion, I like the Dominus just for the lengthwise I think this card is just a little bit too long for my liking but this is definitely a very very solid car and I would definitely say if you have it give it another try because if you haven't played with it a while you've probably gotten a lot better so you may be able to play in this car a lot better than you ha did before but besides from that I definitely would recommend trying this car I do very much like it um, it's just a little bit too long for me But I think in normal, like, public favor, if it, to go less off of my opinion and off of how I feel with the car, I'd say the, the dot, the, oh, wow, that, that was really bad. Oh, that was really bad. I'd take total, total blame for that. Um, I definitely kind of think, that, what am I saying? Definitely kind of think. I sound like a retard. I do think a little bit, the, Batmobile may just be a hair better than the Dominus. It's not really something that I'd want to switch to, but in hindsight of things, I'd recommend trying it and doing it. Alright, teammate, come on, score that. There we go. Got the lead again. Ooh, good. We'll be able to div back up, hopefully, if we win this game. Uh, also, for freestyles and stuff, I do like this car. It is pretty good. Uh, you just have to get used to the spin speed. I mean, obviously, they're all the same, but it's like it feels a little bit slower because the car is a little bit longer. But besides from that, I definitely give Domus a shot. If you don't have it and you hit, just have a little bit of money, it's only $1.99 to get it. I definitely recommend getting it and trying it. It's a um, very, very nice car. I definitely do think it could quite possibly enhance your gameplay. And also, what I've been noticing is it gets some really nice, like, hits like that. Not like, it, but wins over, like, super things like that. Like, it'll push it through, which is really nice in a car, and I like it as well. See, let's see if we can do a little bit of a... See, it's got... Uh, no, it's the same speed. It just seems a little bit slower to me, just probably because I've been using the Dominus. Um, oh, that wasn't the same person. He's just a different grand champ. But I do think the Dominus might have... Not the... Uh, the Batmobile win just a little bit. It is a very, very nice car. Very long. Um, you have to be kind of into the longer cars. It is a little bit short, but... Not short. Yeah, short. But it is very good, and I definitely try it. I do think this one won the car of the week for this week the dominus is very close run up i must say i do like it very much still but i hope you guys enjoyed and i hope this guys hope this video might have helped you with the dispute that you could have had between this car these two cars and the videos on how to make your own map will be coming out very very shortly and i will see you guys in the next one